A lot of creators say that inspiration has to come naturally. You can create your own inspiration within yourself. I know, I know, you haven't heard from me in about a week. What is this plant doing here? A week for me, a week for me is like an eternity. When I'm not uploading and making content, I'm just like, what is going on? Like, I feel like I don't have much direction or purpose. And like, it's, wow, that got really deep really quick. <laughs> but there's a reason why I haven't been uploading. I feel like a lot of YouTubers or just creators in general end up getting into this situation. And when you get into this situation, it feels like it's impossible to get out kind of thing. Like you're thinking that you've lost your passion, this and that, and it's just the worst feeling ever. I know that I haven't lost my passion I know what the problem is. I've put way too much pressure on myself to be able to get a video out from Monday through to Friday consistently 100% of the time. If focus has gone away from actually making content that makes me happy onto making as much content as possible. It's like the same thing when your parents say, can you do the dishes? Like if they say, can you do the dishes? You're not gonna wanna do it. Not that, not that you're gonna wanna do it anyway, but you know what I mean? The more someone asks you to do something and says you have to do this, the less you're gonna wanna do it. People don't talk about the pressures of being a YouTuber and like as you get bigger, as you grow, your audience demands more content and then the the more your audience demands content, you're like, okay, I need to just pump this out. My audience will be happy. But if you keep doing it for the audience, then it's just, you're never gonna be really happy. In the first place, I didn't come into YouTube because I wanted to have an audience. Having you guys watch my content, it's the best thing ever and I love it. But the reason why I went into YouTube was because creating content makes me happy. So what I'm gonna do tonight is I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna take some photos, not because I have to, because I want to. And I feel like that's what's gonna get my creative juices again. If I don't, I know that I'll eventually get it sometime. But today, it'll be really good to get it today. I also have a reason to use this off camera flash that I just bought the other day. So I'm keen for that. Do you want to make videos tonight? F you. <laughs> I just drove all the way to Walmart to get this thing. You know why? Because all my planning book is... I don't know what that was. What the... Who did that? My whole planning book is full. Every single page. So I needed to get a new one. But that's not the only thing. I also went to Walmart to get this. I'm not gonna tell you why, but you'll find out later. Anyway, we're here in Irvine Spectrum Center and I came here specifically because there's just so many good photo locations. Legit, like there's just so much color here. To get my creative juices flowing again, just gonna go take some photos. <laughs> Are you making fun of me? Show me. You're my personal stalker or something. 
I'm getting B-roll. <laughs> I'm just like hiding in the shadows just over here. Someone walked right in front of you when you were doing it. So it looked like you were taking photos of them. Really? Yeah. Did you tell them? No. While I was showing you the thing on Snapchat, these two people were just looking at us with our like cameras and whatnot. Two girls just gave us like the stink eye. I was like, come on. The stink eye? Yeah. What does that mean? Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> I've never heard stink eye before. You got stink eye? Sounds like pink eye. <laughs> <laughs> Try and run through without getting actually touched by water. Don't do it with my camera equipment. Three, two, one, go. Oh, you got wrecked. So we got some nice wet hair. Yeah, very nice. Look like you're thinning, but very nice. You sure that's not sweat? Sorry, I don't sweat by my arm. It's just sweat up here. It's like when you put on deodorant, you don't put it under your arm. It's like... <laughs> do I have a sweat patch? Yes. Do I actually? I'm not putting that in. Oh, it's I found another stop. spot. Guys, I might have had an accident. If we're getting chocolate, you're gonna get them. Because I don't want to look like a complete fool. Josh, you hey, gotta learn to not care what other people think. If you look like you've pissed your pants, then you just walk right up and you own it. No, nah, I don't own it. Because <laughs> I don't do that. Do go, you? Go up, go up to him and tell him. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, time to look at the photos. The first thing I want to talk about is this thing and the flash. So right here we have the remote. Inside this bag, we have the flash, but the reason why I put it inside this bag is because putting the white bag over it actually diffuses the light and makes it not as harsh. So the first photo I took was with the flash, but this sucked. I wouldn't call it a bad photo, it was just really artsy looking and it definitely wasn't the look I was going for. Very contrasty blue, and then I changed the oranges to pink in Photoshop and it just looks really just crazy. It doesn't look like a normal photo that I'd take at all. If you're going for that kind of look, then yeah, that's cool. But the reason why it actually turned out like this is because the light from my flash is the equivalent to daylight and the light from the cinema is so damn orange. When you try to bring the color temperature down to something that's a lot more cool, it actually can't get to that point where it actually looks normal. It's also cooling down the part where the flash has gone off. And because the flash was daylight, it makes it even cooler. So it makes it really blue. And that's what created the contrast between the blue and the orange. But then I changed it to pink because I thought that, that looked kind of cool. So <laughs> next time if I was using the flash in that situation where everything is yellow or orange or tungsteny in the background, I need to compensate by putting a tungsten filter on the flash so it makes the flash orange so that in post, when I bring down the color temperature, all of the temperature of the image is even and it's not like one bit is really blue and then the rest is kind of orange kind of thing. Second photo, this is probably my favorite photo of the night. Like look at that damn bokeh in the background. This isn't normal bokeh. This isn't just your circle bokeh. You got the lines, it's all squiggly and stuff. Draw the viewer's attention, just kind of like wave it around and stuff. Uh, cinemas, a great photography location. And see this one worked because I didn't have the flash go off. So there was no daylight light on Josh. So it didn't make it really cool on his face. The next ones were kind of blah. Like the bokeh was pretty cool in the background. Then I did that camera trick with the phone around the lens just like that. So it creates these really nice reflection effects when I'm taking the portraits. And I don't even know what I'm doing in this photo. I was like, okay, I want to think as creatively as possible, especially even with my poses. I wanted to be really creative. So I was like, okay, What's like the opposite from just like a normal pose? So I decided to do this and I look like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest, I'll probably post it on my Instagram anyway because I know I'm an idiot and I just own it. I like this one of Josh at the Ferris wheel. What I did was I got down low, I shot his face in focus, everything else is beautifully out of focus. I love this damn lens, man. Like the 55mm, highly recommend if you have an A7S or an A7R2 or any Sony camera, definitely get this lens right here. Then the next one, I tried to be really artistic and stuff with this, but mm, this didn't work at all. The edit was crap, the bokeh was nice, but the way that the colors work and like it's just I don't know it was, I was just a bad photography moment for me you got to make mistakes to learn when we finished up there I was like I want to take one more photo at that cinema that cinema is such a good location I'm probably not going to come here for another few months or something so rush back there took this photo you know how I said the other one was my favorite photo of the night this one's probably my favorite photo of the night and this one for once it's actually not a 55 mil shot this one was shot with the 16 to 35 mil zoomed all the way out to 60 16 mil, so it's a pretty wide shot. Because it's so wide, it captures all of the landscape, all of the cinema, all the lights that are surrounding Josh in the background. He's a silhouette, and I, I really like that photo. The point is, I went out and I took photos rather than just sitting at home doing nothing. So pat on the back for that. Even though it wasn't the greatest photo shoot in the world, did I get my creative juices back? 
Yes, I did. A lot of creators say that inspiration has to come naturally. You can create your own inspiration within yourself. The problem is a lot of the time, like when I was going into doing this, I was thinking, oh, like I'm not gonna get my, I don't know if I can get my inspiration back. Maybe I should just wait until it comes kind of thing. Like it, maybe the more I force it, the more it's just gonna get away from me. I'm gonna lose my passion and everything like that. I can tell you from experience, just from doing this, actually going out and being creative, it does like restart your engine so to speak when it comes to creating content or just creating anything whatsoever. If you're in that mindset where you really don't wanna create and you feel like it's the last thing you wanna do and you feel like if you force it, you're just gonna make it even worse, that will only happen if you have a negative mindset. You have to have a positive mindset. If you're optimistic, you can literally achieve whatever you want. And that's not just with creative, yeah, creative. And that's not just with creating content or creating in general. That's with everything. That's with your business life. That's with relationships. It's all about having an optimistic mindset. That's all it is, no matter what you're doing. If you're optimistic, you can do anything. You just have to believe in yourself. Holy crap, 97,729 subscribers. You guys are, that's really, I shouldn't be looking at a subscriber count. What am I doing? I'm looking for question of the day. Question of the day, why do you always wear a hat? Your hair is nice. You think this is nice? No, it's not because of that. When I wear my hair out, I like to do it up. I like to put in wax and stuff. I just think it looks badass when my hair's kind of like up like that, but when it's actually cut properly and everything. But most of the time I'm just thinking, man, it's just too much effort. I can't be bothered. So I just wear a cap. And ever since I've done that, I've just kept doing that. And then I think that with YouTube, the more that I wore a cap, people kind of recognize me as the YouTuber that wears the cap kind of thing. So it's almost like a trademark to me. Anyways, that's the end of the video, guys. If you guys like this video, you know what to do. Like and subscribe. It's up to you. Yeah, that's that's it. It was awesome hanging out with you guys again, and I'll catch you guys next time.